guys enjoyed the video make sure to leave me a like please subscribe if you're new and i appreciate you guys watching and as always you guys be cool and thank you i hope you guys had fun because i did too smash that like leave me a like tell your friends hit the share we appreciate you guys and you guys be cool thank you so much for watching y'all be cool peace Starting to unload and check out what came in the mail. The GeForce GTX 1060. It's a 3 gig mini card. We're going to put this graphics card in dad's computer. The old power supply out. Now it's time to put the new one in. So I was starting to um, kind of run everything and start to get it kind of tidied up when I noticed an issue. I don't have enough SATA. There's only two SATAs on this whole system. One here and one here. And it doesn't fit. So what I'm going to do is solve the problem. I have a Molex to SATA. Luckily for me at the end of this SATA line there's another Molex so I can just transfer it into that problem solved. Let's keep going. One of the things that I like about this power supply is that it has a 2-pin adapter. So if he wants to upgrade later on from a 6-pin to an 8-pin, he'll have that ability. And I do have an 80 millimeter blue fan that I think I can put in here to make it look better. So we're going to go ahead and do that also. This is the fan that we pulled out of the computer. All right, This is an 80 millimeter Antec fan. The problem that I'm having is that this is not 80. It's like a 90 or a 100 or something. It's an odd deal. But what I do have is an adapter. So what I'm thinking about doing is taking a 120 millimeter fan, mounting it to the adapter, and then mounting it to the back of the case like that. Or I can mount it inside of the case like, like that. So I think that's what we're going to do now. So I got it installed. It's a full size 120 millimeter fan. It's the only exhaust fan. So it's going to suck air in hopefully and bring some fresh air into the case. But uh, let's put the panel back on. Take it into dad and see what he thinks about it. And then we ought to... Um, we ought to see how it works. Load some games on it and stuff, but that's what it's going to look like. Cool. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate y'all. Let's, uh... Actually, no, I'm sorry. Let's take it in and see what he thinks about it. Isn't that cool? Yeah, it is cool. It looks good, right? Yeah. Got that 1060 in there. And then I, what I did is I put an adapter in here to put you a bigger fan, a bigger exhaust fan. And then we changed out the power supply to a little bit higher one. And then we also got you uh, an adapter here in case you want to upgrade in the future. Um, it, this is a 6th gen all right, chipset. It's an LG A1151. It's a 200 series board, I believe. Um, it has an i5-3600. It has two 4 gig sticks of 16, 1600 megahertz of DDR3. And then you have the 500 watt power supply. You have a one terabyte hard drive. You have a fully operational DVD burner and watcher video, like you can watch movies and stuff on it or Good. put disc in it. Good. And then you have a GT or a, a, a Zotac GeForce GTX 1060 three gig, and it's overclockable. And then we got you a wireless network card that's that installs onto the actual board there and then we beefed up the back fan 
went from an 80 millimeter to a 120 millimeter fan. And uh, this is what it looks like with the panel on here. You want to hold that? Sure. Now I do kind of recommend that you don't run it with the panel on it. If you want the parts to last and stuff. Yeah. Or if you're going to run it with the panel, don't put it under, don't don't put it in a shelf or nothing. Make sure it has plenty of open air because that's your only source of intake. That's where all of the air through the computer is fed through, which is something I don't like. But I tried to remove this back slot here. See, a big cover goes right here, uh -huh. like a big cover, and I removed it so that way there would be more, try to get more circulation through you. it. Okay. And then you have USB 3 and you have all of your peripherals and everything. And oh, wow. That so, looks awesome. Yeah. Wow. Uh, very That's cool. It, right? Yeah. Very cool. I like the look of it. Do you like yeah, the look of it? Yeah. 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 I'm glad we didn't go with the other case. Yeah. yeah, I like the slick black look. You know what it's like? It's kind of like a sleeper. That's what it reminds me of because it's in a stock Dell case and you have an i5 with a GTX 1060 on it. You know? And there's room for expandability too, yeah. which is a good thing. There's Very plenty cool. of room for expandability. Windows 10. Yeah, it has Windows 10, fully licensed Windows 10. Good. God, slow down. Yeah, fully licensed Windows 10 on it. Hey, stop. I like it. I like the back end of it. I think it looks cool. Wow. Wow. Let me see inside of it. Mom, you want to see it? You don't like it? Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty. It is pretty, ain't it? It's built to the hilt, son. It's actually a pretty, pretty quick system. Oh, that's all out. Gosh, shit. That's pretty cool, You got quite a power. Yeah. That's very nice. You know, we can always go with a different power supply and get rid of the ketchup mustard look and. You can always see that, but nobody sees it. Yeah, I know. Well, when you put the cover on, all you're going to see is the pretty lights anyway. So. That'll make me. And that right there will, you can play some, you can do some pretty good stuff on that. That's, that's definitely, I would say, uh, you know, a mid, a mid powerful gaming machine, especially with that 1060 in there. That really, that changes everything. And then later on down the road. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. He put a Wi-Fi card in. Too. Yeah, that was the hardest thing. Was to try to. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Well, yeah, it's good. Internet. Yep. Did you try tying it into your internet yet? Nope. I'm gonna go test it out now. No. Cool.